The fuel filter head on your Duramax engine serves many purposes. First, and most obvious, it mounts the fuel filter. Second, it acts as the primer for the supply side of the fuel system since the Duramax equipped trucks do not utilize a lift pump from the factory. It also houses the fuel heater to aid in cold weather operation. There are a few common signs of filter head trouble. One would be a fuel leak visible by fuel pooling around the top side near the bleeder screw. Also, the hand primer may no longer be able to create the vacuum needed to prime the system. Another sign could be a start and immediate stall, which is a sign of air being introduced into the fuel system. Before we get started, gather up the following tools. A straight blade screwdriver, a T20 torque screwdriver or bit, a small pick, a bit of clean engine oil, some solvent or brake cleaner. With the filter head removed from the truck, start by removing the plastic bleeder screw and set it aside. Next, we will remove the hand primer pump assembly. Note the ground wire under this screw. This is for the fuel heater. Grasp the rubber boot with the red wire and give it a slight twist while pulling it off the heater. Finally, remove the other two screws. Carefully remove the plunger assembly by lifting it straight off. Note the coil spring under it and set it aside. Remove the attachment plate and then grab the white plastic portion of the primer and use a twisting motion to remove the metal cap. Use a small pick and remove the o-ring on the top of the filter head and discard. Turn the filter head upside down and remove the two screws that hold the heater assembly to the head. Gently push down on the top of the heater plug and push the heater out of the housing. Remove the heater assembly while holding the filter head so it can be removed in a vertical position to ensure the check ball and spring do not roll away on you. Remove the ball and small spring and set them aside. Remove the small o-ring on the housing and discard. If you're going to reuse the stock plastic bleeder screw, remove the o-ring from it as well as it gets replaced in the rebuild. On the top of the heater assembly, there is an o-ring that seals to the housing. Remove it and discard. The red pointer is showing the molded rubber seals that are still in the filter head. Do not attempt to remove these. Damage can occur and these are not serviceable items. Take this time to clean the filter housing and all of the parts, being sure to get all the corners clean so no contamination is present. With the rebuild kit open, lay out all six seals. Start by taking the small black seal and installing it on the heater assembly. Roll it down until it seats on the step in the plastic. Next, install the o-ring on the filter head assembly. Use a small amount of clean engine oil to lubricate the seals. Reinstall the smaller diameter spring, followed by the check ball, and finally the heater assembly into the housing. Carefully guide it in and reinstall the two screws. Be sure to tighten them evenly. These just need to be snugged up. With the old lip seals removed from the plastic primer housing, clean it up with a couple of shots of brake cleaner and dry it. Then begin by installing one of the new lip seals. Start by installing the one closer to the flange. This is installed with the lip pointing towards the flange. Install the second seal with the lip away from the flange. Roll your fingers around the seals to ensure they are fully seated. When properly installed, the lips will oppose each other. Finally, apply a small amount of engine oil to the seals. Install the new o-ring on the filter housing and apply a small amount of oil. Set the plastic primer housing back on the filter head and use gentle pressure to seat it, being sure to align the openings with the housing as shown. Install the large diameter spring into the spring seat, followed by the hand primer cap, and finally the retainer flange. Using a light wiggle, push the primer cap down until the flange sits flush on the filter head, and then install the screws loosely to hold it.
Be sure to reinstall the ground wire for the fuel heater in its location. Evenly tighten down all the screws. Press the heater connector back on as well. Install the new orange o-ring onto the bleeder screw if we're using the bleeder. This is a great time to upgrade to our aluminum bleeder screw. It's not prone to cracking or stripping out like the plastic unit and is a direct replacement part. The red pointer is showing to the arrow cast into the head indicating direction of flow. To check the operation of the hand primer, place your thumb over the inlet side of the unit and then pump the primer a few times. It should pull a vacuum against your thumb with just a few pumps. You are now ready to reinstall the head back on your truck. Be sure to install a new fuel filter as well.